my research topic is on how to plan sustainable development in developing countries focusing on Senegalese context. And the presentation will focus on three main aspects with also the background on Senegalese uh, context that I did not mention here. So, next. Uh, Senegal is a West African country located in west coastal in the coastal area near the Atlantic Ocean, with almost uh, 2,100 kilometers, less than 13 million inhabitants, uh, a, 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 a small growth rate, and small also index development, human de development index. Senegal is a least developing country. Next. Uh, what is the context from for these studies? Uh, we, are, we have noticed that there is a sort of overlapping mission between state agencies who have the responsibility to develop a sustainable development uh, strategy and policies. And there is also a kind of uh, different understanding of the principle and the concept of sustainable development which have lead to a weak planning framework. The framework actually is not precise and there is some uh, inconsistency in the plan framework, the framework planning sustainable development, and as a result, there is no policy to really uh, produce and implement uh, sustainable policies for development, of course. Next, and the objective of my research is really to understand the, the, the legal and institutional framework within which sustainable development would be situated and also to see what is the perspective of decision makers and planners about sustainable development. This is important because uh, it may help to identify the strength and the weakness of this uh, the current planning system and then based on some evidence propose some improvement to go further and have the sustainable development that we are seeking. Next, uh, the expected result. So from these studies, uh, it will be, uh, we will have the opportunity to uh, inform planners and decision makers about their real understanding of sustainable development and how this understanding can be a source of strength or weakness for the planning system and also contribute to Senegalese progress towards sustainable development. And to do, to do so, um, I go through a case study on Switzerland. Switzerland because Switzerland has used the international accepted definition of sustainable development, which is to, need to, to meet the needs of current generation without compromising the needs of future generations. And what we, what we found first is that in Switzerland, there is a concise framework in legal and institutional frameworks. And also they give support to actors that have in charge to produce and implement sustainable development policy through technical and financial support. And the primary findings is that there is some uh, identification, clear identification of leaders those who have in charge to coordinate and produce the sustainable development strategy are different to the entities that are in charge to monitor and evaluate these policies, which is uh, uh, which in which they added uh, communications uh, means and communications also uh, aspect that just is the. Um, the, the production and the implementation of sustainable development policies. And what is the result? The result is that uh, at fi finally less or at least no overlapping mission between the responsible for sustainable development policies and also uh, a, a development that is implemented in the right way. Thank you very much for that.